I'm going to tell you a story. Like most Norse stories, it's not a happy story. This is the story of a young woman named Hildur. Hildur was a thrall, or a slave, in the household of a prominent Norseman in a place we call Iceland. She wasn't always from Iceland. She came from somewhere else, but she doesn't remember. She was so young when she came here, this is all she knows. Hilda spends her days cooking and cleaning, sewing, weaving, tending the flocks, tilling the fields, and doing whatever Hilda was asked to do, because Hilda is a slave, and that is what slaves do. She owns nothing, not even the clothes on her back. Those can be taken from her at any time. She wished, she longed to be able to sing when she wished to, to be able to speak her mind, to be able to dance. But she is a slave and those things are not for her. Sometime later, poor Hilda found herself to be with child. But as a slave, she cannot have a child. Who would look after the child? She cannot. She is too busy. Another slave to look after her child? No, they have their duties as well. No one would adopt the child of a slave. And she couldn't kill the child because the child is a thrall too and therefore is owned by her master. If she killed the child, then she too could be killed. So what was poor Hilda to do? So Hilda made a decision. She took the child out into the fields and then up into the forest's mountains. And there she gave the child the only gift she could give, the one and only thing she had, though even that was not her own, and that was the clothing on her back. So she took off her dress, the one nice thing she had, and she wrapped the child in that dress and then laying a kiss on his forehead and placing him gently on a little hillock covered in grass. She left him there with the hope that maybe the trolls or the elves would adopt the child and take them in as one of their own. And then, sadly, Hildur returned to home and went back to her duties as a thrall. But the memory of her child was never far away. She would never forget. Sometime later, there came news that there was going to be a party and then the entire village and all the houses around were invited, including the thralls. Now, Hilda had never been to a Vikivaki before. She'd never been invited, but this time everyone was invited and she was so excited to go. Finally, she would be able to hear the singing and maybe sing herself. She'd hear the poetry and maybe recite some that she's written herself. She could watch the dancing and maybe be able to dance herself. She was so excited and then, then she remembered. I have nothing to wear, she said to herself. I gave the one and only good dress I had to my child. I guess, I guess I won't go to the Vikivaki. I guess I'll stay home. And as she said this to herself, she heard a tiny, small voice from up in the rafters above her head. And that little voice said to her, don't worry, mother. I will give you these rags of mine, this ragged dress to go dancing in. I will give you these rags of mine to go dancing in. These are the words she heard.
When Hilda heard the voice of her child, the Uteburder, or the ghost of her child from the rafters, though she'd heard of Uteburder before, she'd never seen or heard one before, and that this one was her child, well, Hilda couldn't understand this. In her mind, her child was gone, but here, this child was speaking to her and giving her back the gift she had given. But this child's voice was not loving or warm. This child was angry. And upon hearing this voice and realizing what she was hearing and the full weight of what she had done came down upon her and poor Hilda's mind snapped. And she went mad and she ran out into the darkness and was never seen again.